Assalamu alaikum everyone and hope you all are doing well at home. Today I am going to upload one more video uh, regarding uh, phrasal verbs. You know what, that's really important uh, for beginners, for learners, alright. So why are phrasal verbs important? Mastering phrasal verbs is one of the biggest challenges you will face as an English learner. And if you are at a point where you are considering giving up on a learning phrasal verbs, you are not alone. I get the frustration. There is a lot to take in. Believe me. But learning phrasal verbs really worth the effort. Yes, absolutely. So my dear friends, why are phrasal verbs important? They are important because English speakers use phrasal verbs all the time. They are extremely common in conversation and that makes them essential to mastering the language. If you are finding it difficult to incorporate phrasal verbs while having conversation, your fluency might be affected. And that in turn might affect your confidence to communicate as well. So don't let that happen. Just keep trying. Mastering phrasal verbs will not happen overnight. but I can tell you from experience it's 100% achievable. So my dear friends, I have picked a few phrasal verb and which would start with, with let and you know what, uh, we are going to see its meaning as well as example and I have translated it in Urdu also. So let's get started. So you can see uh, on the screen over here, number one is let town. It's meaning disappoint to betray or fail somebody. How it can use, uh, we can see an example guys. So number one is I promise him I would meet him there and I will not let him down. In Urdu you can see, I have promised that I will meet him there and I will not let him down. Next example, if I let him down now, I knew he would never trust me again. If I had used him, then I knew that he would never trust me again. So my dear friends, phrasal verbs are important in learning language. Alright, another meaning of uh, let down is allow to listen. It means, you can see an example, uh, they let down the rope and I fasten it to the basket. It means, in Urdu you can see that, and next uh, phrasal verb let in meaning let someone or something come in to allow someone to enter a house or room etc example don't let anybody in I'll be back in 15 minutes kisi ko andar na jane de ya na aane de main 15 minute mein wapas aunga ok one more example uh, the tour staff didn't let him in the nightclub because he was wearing jeans. Darban ne usse, us watchman ne, darban ne usse nightclub mein nahi jane diya ya aane diya. Kyunke usne jeans pant pehni hui thi. Another phrase or verb, let on. Meaning, tell someone secret. Example, I didn't mean to let on about the party. I just said it without thinking. In Urdu, I didn't mean to tell you about the party or not to tell you about the party. I didn't mean to tell you about the party. I didn't mean to tell you about the party. One more example. I am getting married next week. But please don't let on to anyone. I am getting married next week. لیکن برائے کرم کسی کو بھی یہ نہ بتانا یا نہ بتائے alright let's go ahead let out example the convict was let out of prison after serving 5 years of an 8 years sentence مثال مجرم کو 8 سال کی سزا کے 5 سال گزارنے کے پات چیل سے رہا کر دیا گیا باہر جانے دینا پڑا one more meaning, one more meaning of a let out is make a sound. You know, it could have several meanings guys, just, just we have to focus, alright. So, uh, example is when she saw him, 
she let out a cry of a horror jab usne use dekha to usne ek khaufnak cheek nikali one more meaning of let out is make clothes bigger an example we can see here i have put on so much weight that i am going to have to let my suits out maine itna wazan bada diya ke mujhe apna suit bada karna hoga kapde bade karne honge you can and one more for phrasal verb which start with let that is let off its meaning forgive and not punish let's see example we will understand more the church let him off with a fine rather than a provision sentence and it was his first offense in urdu judge ne use qaid ki bajaye jurmane ke sath chhod diya kyunki ye uska pehla jurm tha ek example one more example the boss let me off for breaking the office window बॉस ने मुझे दफ्तर की खिड़की तोड़ने पर छोड़ दिया काश ऐसा बॉस सबको मिले हाँ ये है लेट ऑफ अनदर फ्लेजर वर्क इज लेट ऑफ मीनिंग हाउस टू एक्सप्लोर और यू नो टू कम आउट और टू रिलीज एग्जाम्पल स्टैंड बैक वेन यू आर लेट ऑफ फायर वर्क जब आप आतिशबाजी या पटाखे फोड़ रहे हो या करते हैं तो पीछे खड़े रहिए पीछे खड़े हो जाइए दैट्स इट एंड वन मोर एग्जाम्पल आई चेल यू इज दैट वेन पुलिस रियलाइज हु ही वॉज दे एस्क फॉर एन ऑटोग्राफ एंड लेट एम ऑफ विथ अ वार्निंग जब पुलिस को मालूम हुआ कि वो कौन है तो उन्होंने ऑटोग्राफ मांगा और उसे वार्निंग देकर लेट ऑफ छोड़ दिया वन मोर फ्रेजल वर्क that is let up meaning to stop or to diminish example when the rain lets up we will go for a walk jab barish khatam ho jaye to hum walk ke liye jayenge chahal kadmi ke liye jayenge and one more is let it on its meaning to allow somebody to know something Example I am going to let him in on a little secret main use raas ki baat batane wala hu ya batane ja raha hu One more example if you promise not to tell I'll let you in on a secret agar tum usse wada karte ho nahi batane ka to main tumhe secret bataunga raas bataunga so my dear friends you know what uh, i have finished this uh, you know phrasal verb which was started with let so whatever i have picked up for you for my knowledge for your knowledge for everybody and i want the basic aim of this is you know to learn practice that is important you know uh, just we have seen all this and we have learned all this so after this we all have to practice just just use it in day to day communication it will really help us inshallah so keep watching my video and inshallah i will upload more videos of uh, more phrasal verb inshallah in future so take care all of you may allah bless you all ma salama